encouraging spank. It's gonna on Twitter with. I just wanted you guys to see. Oh man, I need to see that. Yeah, it has a. Yeah, it looks like it hurts. Yeah. Hey, Sean, have to give you one of those? No, he got to catch me first. He's not going to. What does this week mean like? Uh, um, it's a fun week. Growing up in the state of Alabama, uh, in this rivalry, you, uh, you either with Auburn or either with Alabama. Yeah, there is no between. You either got a lot of pick one, but um, it's a very, it's a very special rivalry. Uh, I'm just ready to, uh, ready to get the game here and play it. Who were you with? with as a kid? Who'd you pick? Of course, I picked Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I know there are a lot of like split families as far as the Auburn go. Any, any family on your side that you know cheers for the other guys? Sadly, my uh, my brother he's an Auburn fan, but when I'm not playing Auburn, he's with me. But when we're playing Auburn, he's, he's going to have to be with me too. So uh, <laughs> sadly, my brother's an Auburn fan, but I'm trying to convert him. Still, at all these years, he just won't go. But I'm trying to get my brother to stay uh, as a fan while I'm playing. <laughs> Did you wear Auburn shirt, shirt to, to the game, or? Oh, no, he, he, he know not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Oh, uh, no, Chris. Yeah. So will he, will he trash talk a little bit during Iron Bowl week, or is he just kind of leave you alone? Um, I don't talk to him during this week sometimes. <laughs> uh, I try to stay with him because I know he is, he loves to talk trash and all that. So uh, knowing him, he'll probably call me in the next couple of days talking about Auburn, something like that. But, uh, you know, I'm telling him, you got to roll with that regardless because I'm playing. So. Any concern with what happens to maybe play against two quarterbacks? Because they're, they're saying both guys will play. So, uh, man, I just got to do my job and watch film on both of them because both of them are good guys. Jeremy can run and throw. Sean can run and throw. So I got to do my job of watching them and seeing if they, they do good and bad. So, so we can uh, do good on uh, getting to them and, and just getting them on their best stuff. So I got to do my job and watch film on both of them. How much more mentally taxing is that? Uh, um, thank God this week I don't, I don't got class all week, so it'd be better. It's easier for me to watch film on one guy one day and the next day I watch uh, film on the other guy. So it's um, it's easier to do that when you don't got class and other stuff to worry about. So yeah, it's, it should be helpful. Reggie, have you seen Ruben more on during the course of the year, and how, how do you feel like he's played? Oh, he, oh Ruben played awesome. He, he came a long came a long way. From the first game to now, so uh, I know guys really can't run from me because when they run from me, they're running into him, and, and he's he's worse than I am when he, when you get hit by him. So uh, yeah, but uh, Ruben did a great job of getting everybody lined up, even when I got to go spread out and cover uh, the, uh, the receiver on three open, and he gets everybody lined up. He's done a great job on that, and I'm very proud of him on the, the way he came along. So what are the big differences just from game one to now that you were talking? Oh, about? Uh, he's he's talking he's talking more. Uh, he's running around the field. Everything's starting to click to him. He, he doesn't worry about the call as much. He just pl lines up in place, and anytime you, he lines up in plays like that, he's doing a great job. How I'm much we ask? Since we asked about Ruben, I wanted to ask you about Sean because he was one of the defensive players. Uh, yeah, Sean nice came a long way also. Um, he, at times he got discouraged this year because sometimes he ain't getting to play. But I'm telling tell him, you, you got a couple more years ago. This is going to be yours and shortly. So like I did, man, you got to take your time because everything going to come for you. And it's a cost saving. It's a process playing with cost saving. He's not going to get all the reps and all the playing time. But when you do get in, make the best out of it. When he, when he gets it, he makes the best out of it. He makes plays for us, and he, and he shut um, teams down. A lot of guys around here get that speech, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I know I had it a lot of times. So, but it's just a process. You got to take your time because at the end of the day, Coach Saban is not going to do you wrong. He's going to put you in a position to make you successful. So you got you to gotta listen to it and believe in it. And I'm a product of it. Ryan said, you really don't forget an ending like the 13-year Iron Bowl. What do you remember from that personally? And is that at all motivation this week? Yeah, you got to go in and do your job. Anytime you got a chance to finish them, finish them up. So um, it's in the back of my mind. I know I remember seeing look being on the sidelines and just me and Landon beside each other and just watching the guy run down the field and you just drop your helmet and just walk off the field and, and disbelief. And you sad and you, you, and you look in the eyes of some of the seniors and you see uh, them crying in the locker room and stuff like that. That, um, that, um, that hurts your feelings, knowing that you ain't do your job enough for, to get the win for them. So we got to come out and we got to do our job and we got to try to get this win. Does this team have a, a different mindset than y'all did going into this stretch run last year? Oh, yeah, it's very, uh, it's very different. Yeah, I was just telling them yesterday, um, we had a, I stretched a stride. I was like, man, this is one of the best feelings I had in a long time about a team since my freshman year. 
I'm, I'm, yeah. <clears throat> these guys, everybody just communicating. Like every time you walk in the locker room, you just feel at home and at peace. It ain't no animosity and anything like that. So it's just, I, I just feel great about this team. Man. Everybody keep doing that job. We'll be where we want to be at the end. So back in the summer, you, you mentioned joking with Ruben and Rashawn about being Auburn guys, being from Auburn. Have you guys joked about Oh, yeah, we already now? started yesterday when we had to do our little workouts. We was on them. Hey, I know uh, Coach Cockburn was on them, uh, a couple other guys on them. But uh, they just know they got to go in and do their job, even though they're going to get fans don't um, talk about they hate them and everything, but you can't worry about that stuff. You got to come in and play your job and shut them up from the, um, from the jump. So I think uh, Rashawn and Ruben are going to do that. What kind of stuff were you guys saying yesterday and Coach uh, Cocker? Man, I got to keep that on. I can't tell you. <laughs> can't tell you. What do you remember about what Auburn did offensively against you guys last year? Uh, they tried to spread us out and uh, they tried to run the ball with their quarterbacks on. So you got to stop the. I know Jeremy can come in. They gonna come in and do some situations with him throwing the ball, and some situations where he can come in. He got to run the ball. So um, we got to do our job of peppering him and make him feel us when he runs the ball. After two years of facing that offense, what do you kind of learn about what what must or not must change, but Malzahn does offensively and. Specifically, the pop pass is that something y'all are focusing more on this week? Uh, I don't really know yet until Coach uh, Coach haven't gave us a game plan, yet, but when uh, when we uh, he lets me know, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, no animosity this year. Was that an issue in the past? There was yeah, guys. I don't. I ain't, I ain't gonna get into that, but you just know how sometimes guys get. But um, now nah, I just feel the air is clear, and I love being in the locker room now. You think people fear Alabama's defense now? You talk about that in the Uh We do not know. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll let you know at the end of the year yeah, we, 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 where we want to be. So uh, I'm a little afraid of it. Um, <laughs> you buck on fire, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but um, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just, I just love flying around, being out there with them guys. And anytime J. Reed gets a hit, I know I'm a little nervous for the other guy because I don't want to get hit by him. So, uh, yeah, but I'm just proud to be around these guys, and I'm just, I'm just, I love being here with them. All right, thanks. Thank you.